Hello Fat Stringers and Lowland Lovers. Okay, today I, I stumbled across a video uh, by a guy called Rob Chappers. Hello, Rob Chappers. He's a, a fellow Brit and it's about motivation and uh, things like that. He's, he's one of the six stringers, he's one of the fin stringers. We're, we're the fat stringers, he's a fin stringer. He's a guitarist. Uh, checked out some of your videos. Saw some of your videos that you're a big Soundgarden fan, Rob. Uh, I am too, and I lost this tooth here. Uh, in a Soundgarden mosh pit. So I urge you to go take a look at his video. Link is below. No, link will be there. Yeah, there, right there. And go check out um, uh, yeah, Rob's Rob's video because I do recommend it. He talks about stuff like we are healers as musicians. I know it sounds kind of cheesy, but it's not cheesy because we are entertainers and entertainers make people happy and things like that. So you know, technically we are. And he also goes into things about like not taking yourself too seriously, uh, taking your art seriously and taking your craft seriously, but not taking yourself too seriously. And I completely agree with that. Concerning motivation, uh, we all get stuck in a rut as musicians, as creative people. I don't believe that you can be continuously creative all the time. There needs to be this, you know, so your creativity peaks and it goes down, then you get different levels of creativity and you learn from the silence. It's kind of like the music, between. it's like the silence between the musical notes. And we all, we all get unmotivated and it, it is a pain in the ass. it really, really is and it sucks. I completely understand that. And don't think that you're the only people that don't get motivated. There's people, I mean, all of the most famous musicians that you know of will get unmotivated and will get these barren plateaus where they don't go anywhere. What I tend to do when I get unmotivated is that I will look at my uh, my favourite bands, you know, go watch my favourite bands again like on YouTube or, or listen to my favourite bands or, or go check out my favourite bass players. Um, that tends to get me motivated again, sometimes, not all times, but sometimes. Um, also, I will go out of my way to find myself new music, like using Spotify or something like that. Sometimes that can work as well. Rob says keep some sort of kind of like diary. He says open up a folder and keep a diary. I do that as well. I have like a diary of just like techniques, um, how I'm progressing in techniques. That helps because you can look back and go like, hey, I, did, I couldn't do that six months ago and I can do that now. So I'm definitely making progress. And he also said an interesting thing about, uh, which I completely agree with, which, uh, which is concerning people think that they can't play, but they can play. It's not about getting to a certain technical ability. It's not about getting to be able to slap and pop really quickly or, or tapping really, really quickly. Um, people can play and they think they can't play, but in most cases they can. One of my favorite bass players, and I didn't put it in my five favorite bass players, which is there, is uh, Kim Deal from the Pixies and the Breeders. Just because um, her bass lines are so, so simple, um, they just she basically just sits on roots and they are absolutely perfect for the musical piece, the composition that is taking place. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with doing that. If you can do that and you're staying in time, you're backing up the harmony, yeah, and the melody, okay, so you're playing the right notes in the right places and you're maintaining the low part of the composition as bass players, you're doing nothing wrong. So you get a lot of people, I get a lot of students say, I can't play. It's like, well, yeah, you can. You just, you can't do the real fast, quick stuff, which is, in, in musically, when you're actually playing with like proper musicians, with good musicianship, there's not too much opportunity to do that stuff anyway. Um, unless you are all of the same level and you can c c communicate to say like, right, I'm going to do this now in this part here. Um, but like with most music, there's not really that much opportunity to do stuff like that. So my point there is, is just don't get too down about it. Um, you are, you probably are making more progress than you think you are. So keeping a diary or something like that, will, will you, you can see the progress that you've made. But the thing that works for me most of all, um, apart from all the other things that I've mentioned and, and the getting out of a bass player's rut thing on my website, which... Um, that's over there, I'll put a link somewhere, I don't know. Um, is, is, is you're gonna laugh, it's exercise. Exercise really, really works for me. And I know most people go, Ugh. but just go for, a, or even just going for a walk and getting fresh air and stuff like that. Or being somewhere that's kind of inspirational, you know, like being out in nature or somewhere like that, or going for a walk in the fresh air in nature. And it's that, that works for me, because whenever I come back, I don't know why it is, but the, the air seems to clear everything and just kind of like blows the cobwebs, cobwebs out. But also, I think it's something to do with endorphins. I think, you know, endorphins kick in if you're exercising and they make you feel good. And that makes me feel more creative. So, yeah, if you do get stuck in a rut uh, concerning music, I would recommend just going for a walk. Put an instrument down and just go for a walk. Um, and don't touch it. That's another thing that helps as well. Is If I just leave it, if I leave it for like four or five days and just... 
I ain't gonna touch it. When you come back, it's almost you're not looking at it anew, but there's there's a freshness, and you, you your mind opens ever so slightly, and you can get on to new ideas. That helps me as well. But anyway, I just wanted to mention Rob's video and just talk a little bit about what, how I do things. Rob's video is below, as I said. Uh, ways of getting out of bass players right is also uh, below. What do you do if you get stuck in a rut? Have you guys got any good ideas? If you do, plant them below and we can all help each other out as one big universal musical energy of loveliness. <clears throat> okay guys, thank you for watching the video and I shall see you in the next one.